bisa Seiu aku Jesus Seiu aku Jesus Somebody help me sing and say he is good, come on Ya 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 
Um, this morning, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Good morning, um, man of God, hallelujah. Good morning, um, Pastor Clemens. Good morning to you, hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Good morning, Pastor V, woman of God. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor V. I'm your sorry, Pastor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hall Good morning, Minister. Uh, Miss Akash. Hallelujah. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, Brother Augustine. Good morning to you, sir. Hallelujah. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. I believe I saw Pastor Ishvak on here earlier. I'm not sure if he got off, but the morning man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Good morning, um, Sister Ajua. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, Evangelist Indira. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, um, Sister Destiny. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Brother Osas. Good morning. Hallelujah. Minister Althea. Good morning to you, woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sister Ming, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, hallelujah. It's good to see you here this morning, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Sister Ngozi, good morning. Good morning, good. God bless you, Minister. Hallelujah. Thank you. Minister Juliet, good morning, hallelujah. Good morning, Minister Kelly. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Comfort, good morning. Good morning to you. Hallelujah. Good morning, God bless you. Hallelujah. There's a Galaxy S9. Good morning. I'm not sure who you are, but good morning to you. Good morning. Sister Tessie, good morning to you as well. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, I see a white coat. Is that um, Pastor Good Mercy? morning, good morning. Pastor God bless you all. Good morning, Grandma. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. She's up. Thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure. Did I miss you, Sister Adjua? Good morning. If I did, I see. Uh, maybe I see that's, two. That's my son. Said them. Oh, okay. Good morning. Said them from Ghana. Oh, awesome. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, iPhone. Hallelujah. I just didn't want to miss anyone this morning. It is a great morning. It is what we call the new day. Hallelujah. And we are fasting and we are praying this morning. Um, our fast is from 6 to 6, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hoping that you can all join us today. Hallelujah. We are praying also um, three times today, right now. And then we come back again at 12.30 and then again at 5.30. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 This morning, just set this atmosphere. Um, I just um, have been in this place of understanding that we are in Christ. And he is in us, and there's nothing that nothing that can change that. There's Amen. nothing that can change that. If, if we could just just wanted to read a scripture before we continue to just set this atmosphere for the woman of God. Hallelujah. Um, it's Romans 8, 35 and 39, and I'm reading it from the ESV. Hallelujah. I don't know if the man of God can pull that up or not, but Romans 8. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Romans 8, 35 to 39. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Just everything to me that we've been um, coming across is showing me that we, this, there's no way for us to ever be separated from him. Hallelujah. And it says, who shall suffer? Who shall, shall, shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? Hallelujah. Amen. You, go ahead. As it is written, for your sake, we are being killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to slaughter, to be slaughtered. Hallelujah. Amen. Love in all these things we are more than conquerors than him who loved us hallelujah for I Amen. am sure I am positive I am certain I am that neither death nor life I'm confident in this that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor things present or things to come nor powers nor height nor death nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. Just wanted us to say, I wasn't taking a prayer point. It was just the scripture just kind of stood out to me to just assure me to just let me know that we could never be separated from him. There's nothing that can ever separate us from him, no matter what that is, no matter what comes, no matter how it comes, it can never separate us from him. That's the depth of his love for us. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. uh, let us just keep continuing to pray. We're just gonna worship God. We're just gonna worship him this morning. We're just gonna thank him. We're just gonna set this atmosphere. We're just going to allow so that the woman of God, when she comes, hallelujah, hallelujah, that her and the Holy Spirit will be able to have their way this morning. Hallelujah, 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 that he will use her to embed in us, hallelujah, everything that needs to be told, every prayer that needs to be prayed. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Just worship him this morning. Just worship him. Just worship him. Just worship him. Just worship him knowing you are in him and he in us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hall
Good morning, everyone. Uh, Pastor Messi, good morning to you again. Um, uh, Minister Osas, wake up. Good morning. Pastor, it is very low. I cannot hear you. I don't know if it's my phone. Can everybody hear me? Hallelujah. No. Yes. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. Can you hear me now? Yes. 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 Much better. better? Now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hallelujah. Can we have access to um uh, okay? Co-host. So we can mute. Co-host. Co-host. We can mute. Yeah. Some people are sleeping. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's February 15th, 2023. Hallelujah. This is the month of ignition. You know, we started with the month of what? Momentum. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And I pray in the name of Jesus that you gather that energy and that stirring up in Jesus' mighty name. So if you are sleeping, wake up. I'm going to wake up. Shake yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want us to take a few minutes right now just to bless the name of the Lord. You know, he deserves all our praise. He deserves all the glory he deserves all the honor you know we cannot come on this altar and just begin blabbing blah 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 asking asking no we just have to worship him and love on him hallelujah hallelujah so let's just um listen to this song you know it sing along hallelujah amen and those who have co-hosts if you see somebody sleeping please um help us to mute the person hallelujah so it's not destructive hallelujah 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 you're all blessed i'm so excited this morning because um I'm going to mute the music for a minute because I'm being distracted by the music as well. Um, I'm very excited because um, each one of us is so blessed, so, so blessed to be on this altar. You might keep coming and you might think that nothing seems to be happening, but trust me, a lot is happening in the spiritual realms. Hallelujah. And it's good to see you, um, uh, Sister Ming. I've missed you. It's been a while. God bless you. It's good to have you on here this morning. And um, um, Minister uh, Frida as well. Hallelujah. So let's take this few minutes. I want you to begin to thank God thank God for life, thank God for love, thank God no matter how you're feeling, you know it's it's a feeling, you know but begin to, you know, be intentional, I always say let's learn to be intentional, let's learn be, to be conscious of ourselves and our surroundings, so let's just begin to thank God this morning, hallelujah, and bless the name of the Lord and tell God how much you love him, hallelujah, amen and amen, so join me as we worship and as we bless the name of the Lord, Father we love you this morning we bless you this morning if you have voice if you have lungs just bless the name of the Lord we bless your name in the name of Jesus with you Alpha, Omega, first yes. and last, beginning and end. In the soul, I now surrender. Yes, Lord. You are breaking ground. Yes, Lord. In the crushing, mm. yes. in 
the present You are making You are In the soul I Now surrender Thank you Yes Lord You are breaking New ground So I yield to you And to your care for you When I trust you I don't need to understand Jesus I yield to you And to your care for him Yes Lord When I trust you I don't need to understand Make me an offering Make me whatever You want me to be Lord, I came here with nothing But all you have given me Jesus, bring you wine Out of me Make me a yes, Make Lord. me an offering. Make me whatever you want me to be. I came here with nothing, but all you have given me. Jesus, bring you wine out of me. Hallelujah, 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 amen, amen. Um, I want us to, I, I really want us to worship some more. I'm not feeling it at all, seriously. Hallelujah, I'm sorry, I'm the same. <laughs> um, let's take a scripture. Psalm 126, hallelujah, Psalm 126, or let me see, hallelujah, hallelujah, God is good all the time, all, all the, the time, time. God I was is. blessed yesterday, yesterday, hallelujah. if you Amen. were online, who yes. was blessed, who was blessed, hallelujah, hallelujah. I was blessed, you were blessed, thank you, yes. I was very, very blessed. You see, the Lord is doing, doing something. Thank you. Thank you. I was very blessed as well. The presence of God was so mighty. Um, I'm thinking we should just enter into the word of God. Let's go to Luke chapter 8. Uh, and um, I'm just, Holy Spirit, have your way this morning in the name of Jesus. Um, we're here to hear from you. We're here to, to love on you. We're here to pray as well lord and be enthroned upon every heart on this altar this morning 
be enthroned on this altar this morning, Holy Spirit. We need you more than ever in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, let's go to Luke chapter 11. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just want to hear his voice. Luke chapter 11. Thank you. It talks about the disciples. Um, I need to switch that off. Talks about the disciples asking Jesus to teach them how to pray. Luke chapter 11, verse 1. What does it say? It says, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. Ooh. Hallelujah. Sometimes we pray amiss and we don't know how to pray. Amen. And Jesus set a very good example to us to follow. A perfect example. So I want us to ask the Holy Spirit to teach us to pray this morning, to lead us this morning. I want to be as authentic and as um, as authentic as possible. I want you to ask the Holy Spirit right now. Holy Spirit, teach me to pray. Teach us to to connect to you. We are being taught that revelation comes and not just revelation, but not just revelation that comes, but then we need to have fellowship with the Holy Spirit and be one with the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's just take this first prayer point that teach me to pray. Teach us. You see, the disciples ask Jesus, teach us to pray. So let's take this first prayer point. I know the whole place is very quiet, but I want us to be in tune. Sometimes all we need is silence so we can hear God. Sometimes there's too much going on in us, around us, and we're being distracted from that fellowship with the Holy Spirit or with Christ. So I want you to take this first prayer point and say, Holy Spirit, teach me to commune with you in the name of Jesus. Teach us. So if you're not in a noisy place, you can unmute your line this morning and say, Holy Spirit, teach me to commune with you in the name of Jesus. As we come on this altar this morning, we are asking because it is about, it's about having a relationship with him having a relationship with Christ. So let's start with this, that Holy Spirit, teach me how to commune with you so that I will not be distracted by the, the curse of this world in the name of Jesus. So let's pray right now. Hallelujah. I just want to flow. That's why. Sunday, the 
Lead us this You see, if the word of God is in your life, and in my life, this is what the enemy does. He comes to steal the word that has been planted. I want us to look at, I know this is a scripture everybody knows, but I want us to look at it carefully. And we are going to pray. Luke 8, chapter, um, chapter 8, starting from verse 5. I'm going to start with that scripture. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Sometimes we just have to be quiet to hear the voice. The voice. It says, a sower went out, I'm going to start, out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell by the wayside. And it was threatened down. And the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon a rock, 
And as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. Thank you, man of God. It says, and some fell among thongs, and the thongs sprung up with it, and it choked it. Hallelujah. Verse 8. It says that, and others fell on a good ground, and it sprung up and bare fruit a hundredfold. And when he said these things, he cried. Who cried here? He says he has heard, he that has the ears to hear, let him hear. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And then he said, and his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? So my question to us, it says, and others fell on ground and it sprung up and bare fruit. How many times do we come on the altar or how many times do we hear the word of God over and over and over? And how many of us are bearing fruit of what we hear? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. How Amen. many of us are Amen. hearing? Amen. But are we bearing fruit? Are we bearing fruit? Revelation is being given unto us. But the man of God said something so powerfully yesterday. And um, it got me thinking. It got me thinking. He says two things happened to the brethren. Two things. They had revelation and they found the truth. And, and he, he obviously, I want us to pray this morning again, that even as the word keeps coming, you know, the, the amazing scripture, man of God, let's go back to verse eight of or verse 11 of that scripture, 10. It says, and his disciples asked him saying, what might this parable be? But look at verse 10, verse 10 said, and he said unto you, unto you on, he said unto them, unto you, which is you and I, born again Christians, child of God, those who have been called, those who have been chosen. He says unto you, it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to others, it is parable. So if we're still on this altar and we are seeing these things at, as parables, we need to come back to the Lord and ask. He says that seeing they might not see mm -hmm. and hearing they might not understand. Mm -hmm. I said yesterday something happened and I knew, I know in my spirit that it's just a knowing that some of us got it and some did not. So we are going to pray this same prayer and no it might sound redundant but it is not pastor chris says keep saying it keep keep declaring if even if you are sick keep speaking to that issue speak to that command that healing to take place a thousand times so we're going to pray in the name of jesus that we may know him like man of God said yesterday, he said, some of us, we, we, we come for the bread, we come for the things, but we do not know. We don't, have, and it's not, you might think you know him, but we don't have that intimacy, that relationship, that mm. fellowship with him. So I want us to take a second prayer point. The first prayer point, I said, teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. But now I want, I, we're going to take a free, um, Philippians 3, Verse 10, as Paul prayed this prayer that I may know him. Mm. Two weeks ago, I talked about rest. And it is in our resting, it's that is when the knowing comes. The resting is when your trust is built in the Lord, that you know him. And because you know him, you have that relationship or that fellowship or that intimacy with him. So I want you to pray right now in the name of Jesus, according to Philippians 3 verse 10, that I may know you, Lord, 
and not just knowing him but the power of his resurrection because when he died for you you and you and I died with Christ Jesus and we were resurrected with him amen hallelujah amen. so i know it's so quiet you might be wondering what's happening but the holy spirit will have his way it is not amen. about me it's about the holy spirit having his way on us and begin to work in us to will and to do so ask him this morning holy spirit that i may know you i may know christ and i may understand the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering because in the resting of christ it means that christ has taken care of everything that means we are we are seated with him in what heavenly places that means we are not supposed to struggle and someone i can hear someone saying but i have bills to pay i am sick yes and when the man of god said that um if you are still sick you don't know christ it and or if you are broke you don't know christ it's true because if you knew christ you will not fret you will not be anxious the bible says be careful for nothing be careful be anxious for nothing can we pull that scripture be anxious for nothing but in all hallelujah Hallelujah. Let's just begin to pray right now. I know everyone is here who have to pray. Sometimes, you know, it's not too many prayers. It's just the fact that you can hear him. You can hear him. You can hear him. Let's begin to pray in the name of Jesus. We are altars. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Set us on fire for you, Lord. Set us on fire for you. Help us. Help us, Holy Spirit. We cannot help ourselves. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, that we may know you, Lord. 
You might think that this prayer is redundant, but it is not. Until you know Christ, until you have fellowship or relationship, or until we become one with Him. Many of us pick up the phone to call prophets or because we cannot hear God ourselves. And we want to come to the place where we can commune with the Holy Spirit. You know, I want us to commit our hearts to the Lord this morning. The word of God said, what? He says, the seed is the word of God. Mm. And verse 12 says, those by the wayside are they, a man of God, pull it up again. Look, chapter, the same look, verse 12. Verse 12. It says, those by the wayside are they that hear. Then that then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts. Least they should believe and be saved. So many of us will come on here. We will hear the word. We will be energized or we will be encouraged at that very second. But guess what? When we go out our day, when there is an attack, or when the enemy comes at you, guess what? You begin to shake again and you fall into that same routine of being mm -hmm. depressed. Mm. We become a yo-yo Christian. One minute we are high. It's like we are on drug. We are on Christ drug. One minute we are up. The next minute we are down. And we are suicidal. We are depressed. But enough is enough. That's why, you know, I want to be as as authentic as I can be because sometimes, and when the man of God said, some of us do, um, even some of the pastors themselves don't even know, know Jesus. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. And then people are then making money out of the the the, the vulnerable because because we can't hear God ourselves. So then we keep running around. I want you us to pray for our hearts this morning. 
It says, now the parable is this. The word, the seed is the word of God. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. It says, those by the wayside are what? Those by the wayside are they that hear. So ask yourself this morning, what, what soil are you? What hearts do you have? Hmm. It says the devil will come and take it away. Verse 13. Let's go to verse 13. It says, they on, and they on the rock are they, which when they hear, they receive the word with joy. Number one. And these have no roots. And do you know why we have no roots? Because we do not go back to meditate. Can I, uh, can I be fair? I'm sorry. I'm going to come on camera and I'm going to be as, as, as open as I can. And please answer me. Can I, can I ask a question? How many of us truthfully, after turning point, go back? You know, people are dropping. Don't drop. Don't drop. I'm not going to, you know, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. <laughs> you know, when we when we get so real, you know, we, we, we begin to panic. How many of us, after turning point, go back to listen to the word of God? Really, seriously. How many of us go back just to even take the scriptures, to meditate on the scriptures that has been given? Even if you don't understand, go back and read the scriptures and spend one minute five minutes and ask the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, you know, um, okay, when the man of God was speaking, I didn't understand. Help me understand. How many of us do that? You got us. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I so we are going to pray. Thank you. Thank mm. you. Thank you. We need to be real. We really, really need to be real about this. We really need to be real to ourselves. Mm. I want us to ask the Holy Spirit right now. You know, if we go back to the scripture, the scripture says those on the Mm -hmm. rock are they, which when they hear, they receive the word with joy and they have no roots, which for a while they believe for a while. And in time, temptations (laughs) fall away. And verse 14 says, and that which fell on thongs are, are those when they heard, they go forth and they are choked by the cares how many of us are choked by the bills that we have to pay or we are choked by the pleasures of the world Mm -hmm. think about think about it and then 15 says but that but they that on the ground and good ground they are they 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 are they which in an honest and good heart having heard the word they keep it and they bring forth with patience so we are going to pray. It say two things happen to the brethren. And these are the things that need to happen on GPS, on, a, on each one of us. Not just getting the revelation and the truth. Can we mute that line? Hallelujah. It's okay. May the Holy Spirit minister to the person even in sleep. May they be ministered to in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. That Holy Spirit that I may know him. I know it's redundant, but we're going to pray in the name of Jesus. I, because I, I, you know, I don't know if you are, you, you are happy with your life. I want to be, be I, w- I want to manifest the life that God has for each one of us. Mm-hmm. He said, you shall know the truth and the truth will what? Make you free. Yes. And we are being taught the truth every morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's pray that this heart our heart, I want you to lift your heart to the Lord this morning, that the word of God will come and not be stolen, but that will begin to bear fruit, that I may bear fruit. Holy Spirit, help me to bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Help us to bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Help us to bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Join me in prayer. You can pray in the prayer. If you can't pray in tongues, pray, Holy Spirit, help me to bear the fruit in the name, the fruit that I'm being fed in the name of Jesus. 
Help us in the name of Jesus. Help us to bear fruit. to change. We must have the revelation of who Christ is, and not just the revelation, but having fellowship and intimacy with Him in the name of Jesus. So, Father, help us. Help each person today in the name of Jesus. Even if we came because of the bread that we want, the substance that we want. Set our hearts on fire for you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Help us, Holy Spirit, we cannot help ourselves. Help us in the name of Jesus. 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 Help in the name of Jesus, Rebasoto Rabasi, Rebecata Yereboson de de Yereboson de de Beke de Boson de 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 Kayarababosa. Help us, oh Jesus, help us in the name of Jesus. Help us, help us, Lord, help us, Holy Spirit. Help us. Help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to take another prayer point. Let's look at First Peter 5:10. First Peter 5:10. It says from the Living Bible. It says, after you have suffered a little while. Our God, who is full of kindness through Christ, will give you his eternal glory. Who wants to operate in that dimension of eternal glory? Yes. First Timothy says, take hold of eternal glory. Take hold of it. He said he personally will come and pick you up and set you firmly in place and make you stronger than ever. Can we put that scripture up from the Living Bible? Look look at it from the Living Bible, if you can pull it from the Living Bible. It says, in his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory. And let's go back to Joseph. Joseph said, come, come hither, come. I want us to compare this scripture to Joseph. He says, to share in his eternal glory. So using the story of Joseph, if we go back to the story of Joseph, I want us to correlate it. Joseph, Genesis 50, 50, 50, um, 45. And Joseph said unto his brothers, come near to me, I pray you. And they came near. And he said, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold unto unto Egypt. Can we pull that up? Genesis 45, verse 4 and 5. I want us to correlate 1 Peter 5, 10. Thank you. And let's look at verse 5. Whom you sold into slavery in Egypt. Verse 5. It says, but don't be upset and don't be angry with yourselves for selling me to this place. It was God who sent me here ahead of you to preserve your lives. Mm. Verse 7, mm. verse 6. Hallelujah. Yeah. It says, this famine that has ravaged the land for two years will last five more years and there will be neither plowing nor harvesting. Verse 7. Mm. So I want you to correlate what we are going through. I want us to be very authentic. Mm. I want you to look at your situation. 
where you are right now where you are some of us come on the line yes it's okay the brethren went for food so it is normal we come because we want answers to our problems we want answers to our problems don't we yes hallelujah let's it said god has sent me ahead of you to keep you and your families alive and to preserve many survivors now let's go to the verse 9 and then let's go back to first peter we're going to correlate it it says now harry back to my father and tell him this is what your son joseph says god has made me master over all the land and come down to me immediately now let's correlate it back to first peter let's go back to first peter i want us to correlate that in the name of jesus hallelujah first peter he said god called you to share so joseph called his brothers he says come go bring my dad to share in that eternal glory and our prayers has been that we will have the revelation that joseph is jesus right and he mm -hmm. says come jesus is saying i want you to share god is saying i want you to share the eternal glory he mm. says by means of jesus christ so after you have suffered if you are on this altar this morning and you are suffering you might ask me what is what is suffering i don't know what your suffering is mm. what is your suffering is it financial mm. suffering is it emotional mm. what is it and the Lord is saying this morning that you have suffered a little while he will restore you back he will support you Amen. he will strengthen you Amen. and he will place you on a firm foundation Amen. we are going to pray this morning the father we will lay hold on your eternal glory Holy Spirit, help me to lay hold on your eternal glory this morning. May my life never be the same ever again. Hallelujah. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. That our lives will never be the same. That we'll lay hold on to eternal glory. Even as we've suffered or we are suffering, if you're suffering, we will lay hold on to eternal glory. That we will be restored with Christ. We will be one with Christ. In the name of Jesus. I only hear one person pray, which is Pastor Mercy. Only hear one person pray. Help us of your children, Lord, this morning. Help us. We all need help. We need you, Lord. We all need you, Lord. We all need you, Lord. We need saving. We need help. Reba se kaye raba sunde rebe kaya raba se ya. Rebe kere bo sundo rebe kaya rebe bo sunde rebe kaya. Reba ba sunde rebe kere bo sundo rebe kaya raba ba se ya da da ya. Reba se kaye kare ba ba se kere bo sunde rebe kaya raba se ya. E kere bo sunde rebe ya da da ba se ya. Re kata ya rebe sunde rebe kere 
we need you, Holy Spirit, this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jude chapter 1, verse 20. Jude chapter 1, verse 20. If we can get that from the Amplify or Amec Bible, it says, But you, beloved, Build yourselves up. Build yourselves up. <clears throat> On the most holy faith. It says make prog- make progress. Rise like an what edifies higher and higher. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Can I ask how many of us has received the Holy Ghost baptism? Mm-hmm. On nice. here, on this altar. If you have this is the word. It says, pray in, in power and in what inspiration of the Holy Spirit will help you make what remarkable progress and will cause you to what? Rise. The more you pray in tongues, sometimes some people come on and they don't understand why we pray in tongues. Romans 8 says, when you do not know what to pray about, when you are so overwhelmed with your issues, all you have to do is just pray in tongues. And the more sensitive you are in the spirit, you will receive. You will receive guidance. And you will begin to operate well in dominion in tri- and, and in triumphant. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I want us to take five and um, two minutes. And begin to pray in the spirit right now. Begin to pray in the spirit right now. Rabasu. in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Holy Spirit is, uh, is leading me to do something something different hallelujah yes. hallelujah the Holy Spirit is leading me to do something different this morning <coughs> and um, if you're on here this morning and you need mm. us to pray with you oh. you need us to pray with you we are we are all on here and we are all brothers and sisters we're going to be praying for nations 
You know, this altar, the two things about this altar is priesthood and worship. Priesthood and worship. We need to learn to worship and we need to learn to be a priest. And the only person that can help us and teach us is the Holy Spirit. But like the story we read, the sower that sowed the seed, the tongues of this world, the cares of this world is what comes to choke us. Many of us are being choked. But you know what? Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. That we're he we here for each other. So if you have any, any request, lay it down. I want you to lay it down and we're going to pray for you. Whether it be sickness, whether it be financial, whether it be you don't know what to do. You need direction. You can post it on the side. Don't be shy. We're a family here. And I know normally we come, the brethren, the brothers went to see, went to Egypt for food because there was famine in the land. So it is okay. It is okay to ask for help. It is okay to seek for mm. help. It is okay. Mm. But the Bible mm. says those who are those who are weak, whoever is sleeping, may the Holy Spirit minister to the person even in their sleep. May they be ministered to. Amen. He says, and you shall find rest. It's also, it is okay. Person is tired. I'll tell you today, I was personally physically tired. I was really, really tired. And I and I wanted to sleep. And I, Holy Spirit said, just, I, I was even pleading with the Holy Spirit. I said, Holy Spirit, I'm tired. My body is tired. But guess what? He gave me the strength to come on this morning to lead. <laughs> so if there's any any prayer request, I'm going to look. If there's no prayer request, then we are going to pray. Hallelujah. I want us to pray for every distractions. Okay, thank you. Distraction. Every one of us go through distractions. Thank you, Minister Kaylee. Directions. Directions. Okay, I, I, I see distractions and directions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we are going to pray. I believe every one of us get distracted. But thank God that the word comes. Hallelujah. The word comes to do what? To bring life. To bring light. So we are going to pray for every soul on GPS that is having to go through distractions. It could be mentally. It could be emotionally it could be financially anything that takes you away from resting we're going to pray in the name of jesus please unmute yourself if you can pray in the spirit i want you to join me as we pray for brother Warren, for um sister tessie for sister daniela for evangelist mm -hmm. monroe sister olga i'm mentioning everybody's name because every one of us the enemy comes to kill to steal and to destroy. He comes to distract you. So we come against that spirit of destruction yes. yeah. in the name of Jesus. Name Join of me Jesus. in prayer. We are praying together as a family. So we come against the spirit of destruction. Against us, our mental destruction, our emotional destruction, physical destruction, because some of us are sick and we are being distracted because when you are sick and you cannot you cannot move weak oh we come against you in the name of Jesus we it says our bodies are the temple of the Lord we pray for healing in the name of Jesus anybody who needs healing I speak to your being I speak to your body in the name of Jesus 
Donde de que ele posso onde de que ele posso onde de que ele posso onde de que ele Rebes de que ele posso onde de que ele raba posso onde de que ele Rebe que ele posso onde de que ele posso onde de que ele Rebas de que ele posso onde de que ele In the name of Jesus, carry posso onde de que posso onde de que ele Lift up a standard against the spirit of distraction. We shall be focused in the name of Jesus. We shall be focused in the word. We shall be focused on what God has the assignment that the Lord has given unto us in the name of Jesus. Rebe soto rebe kaya raba soto rebe ya rebe kata ye rebe son de de kaya in the name of Jesus. I want us to translate this prayer. Prayer of distraction. We are going to pray for the nations because the enemy can come and distract the nation. So whatever nation that you are calling from, or not even the nation, your community, just your community, your school, your vicinity, that distraction, we're going to pray in the name of Jesus. Because when wherever you live, or the people you associate yourself with, when you are distracted by those same people, Sometimes it's people. Uh, people are people that distract us. We're going to pray in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Hallelujah. And then we're going to pray for healing and restoration. Um, I'm going to use Sister Annie as a point of contact. Everyone who has a child suffering from autism, anyone who has a child suffering from any ailment or affliction on the body, we are praying in the name of Jesus this morning. Hallelujah, let's begin to pray. Karebo Sundeya. Reba Seka Yerebo Sun de de Kerebo Sun de de Kaya. Ebe Sun do de Kerebo Sun de de Kerebo Sun de de Kerebo Sun de de Kaya. Reba Sin de de Kerebo Sun de de Kaya Rababo Sun de de Kaya. Rebo Sun de de Kerebo Sun de de Kaya Rabasin de de Kaya Rababasin de de Kaya. Rebo Sun de de Kerebo Sun de de Kaya Rabasin de de Kaya. Rebo Sun de de Kaya Rebo Sun de de Kaya Rabo Sun de de Kaya. Reba Sin de 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 Kerebo Sun de de Kerebo Sun. Slow. Yara Basi Kerebo Sun. Karabo Sun de 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 ya. Basi Karabo Sun to Raba Basi. Karibo Sun de 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 Kerebo Sun de 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 Kerebo Sun de 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 Kaya. Reba Se Kerebo Se Karaba Basi Kerebo Basi Ta Ya Re Kerebo Baya. Reba Basi Kerebo Kaya Yere bosan de 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 ya, rebe ka yere bese ya raba se ke de be ka yere bosan de 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 ka ya, reba se ka yere bosan de 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 ke de bosan de 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 ka ya, reba se ka ka ke de be ka yere bosan de 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 ke de bosan de 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 ka ya, reba se de 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 ke ya raba ba se de 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 ke de bosan de 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 ke ya raba bosan de 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 ya, reba bosan de 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 ke de bosan de 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 ka ya, reba san de 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 ke de bosan de 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 ke de bosan de 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 ke de bosan de 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 kere <laughs> Hallelujah. We are still in prayer. We're going to pray for the sick. And sickness doesn't mean that you might not be physically sick. You might be mentally sick, <laughs> emotionally sick. Even financially, you can be financially sick. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. And I, I'm, I, I put the prayer point on the side. And you do, it's a confession. I am full of God. 
and there is no place for sickness and disease in my body. I want you to declare it. A man of God, if you can pull, if you can pull that up and put it up there in the name of Jesus. I am full of God. I want you to declare it. And there is no place for sickness. Being it mentally, being it emotionally, being it financially, being it physically. I want you to declare it this morning. I am full of God. And there is no place for what sickness and disease in my body. There is no place for you. There is no place for you. Spiritually, there is no place for you because I am made in the image of God. I am made in the image of God. I am made in the image of God. Made in the image of God in the name of Jesus. Made in the name of Jesus. I am made in the image of God. No sickness is allowed in this world. Sickness is allowed in this world. Come on, somebody. And the word of God is life and health to my bones. The word of God is life and health to my bone marrow. The word of God is life. Life, life and light. My spirit be in the name of Jesus. Help us come this morning. So just only believe in the name of Jesus. He this morning has come. Not settling for less in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, I didn't realize the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Kelly, I'm sorry. I when I'm in the I just get carried away. It's seven. Um God bless you. You can take over and we are gonna stay on and pray some more. If you have time, you wanna pray with us, um, we're gonna pray an extra two hours. You can join in. Hallelujah. Minister Kelly, it's over to you. Hallelujah. Um, I just wanted to just Amen. greet everyone. Um, we're at seven o'clock. Just, just give a second to greet Minister Frida. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm um, Sister everyone. Annie. Good morning to you, Sister Joyce, Sister Sheila, Sister Tessie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Danielle, Mama Zaina. Hallelujah. Um, Brother Warren. Uh, hold up, hold up. Mm, glory to God. Um, I believe that's, um, Evangelist Monroe, Brother Claude. Just thank God good for morning, you. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to just go ahead. Um, um, we're back here at 12.30 again. We're back here at 12.30. Um, if you're able to come back and join us. And remember, we're fasting today. We are fasting today. Fasting and praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then on the Amen. 27th through the Amen. 28th of February, we will be doing a 24-hour fast. A 24-hour fast and prayer. 24-hour fasting and praying from the 27th to the 28th of this month, February 27th through 28th. Um, let us share the grace. Um, and those of you who can stay back, who can stay on, those of us who can stay on, must stay on um, for prayer, to continue to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the grace of the Lord be with you. May the grace of Jesus Christ be with you. May the spirit of the Holy Spirit be with you. May the spirit of the Holy Spirit be with you. May the spirit of the Holy Spirit be with you. May the spirit of Surely, surely, goodness and mercy are following us all the days of our lives, and we are dwelling in that house of the living forever. Amen. Amen. Bless everybody. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. I can feel it. It's flowing my way. Oh, 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 oh. It's a season of power and prosperity. Yes, it is. It's a new season and it's coming to me. Oh.
if you believe that, lift your hands and say, It's a new season. It's a new day. It's a new What's she saying, Mark? I'm coming! 